Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's emailed newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. This is Effector Volume 35, Issue 4, titled, We're Fighting for Your Rights in Court, in Congress, and in Your Car. This issue was published on March 2023, and I'm your host, Member Outreach Assistant Christian Romero. Let's start with our top features. First up, why we're suing to protect the right of incarcerated people to receive physical mail. In 2021, San Mateo County, California, banned people incarcerated in its jails from receiving physical mail. EFF, the Knight First Amendment Institute at Columbia University, and the Social Justice Legal Foundation filed a lawsuit challenging this unconstitutional policy. Next up, sign the petition and tell EU legislators, don't scan us. The European Parliament is debating a proposal that, if it passes, could be disastrous for privacy worldwide. Every message, photo, or hosted file could be scanned, with the results sent to government agencies. It's time for everyone to tell legislators, stop scanning me. And for our last feature, Fourth Circuit, individuals have a First Amendment right to livestream their own traffic stops. In a partial victory for police accountability, the U.S. Court of Appeals of the Fourth Circuit held that the First Amendment protects a passenger who livestreams the traffic stop of the car he is traveling in, EFF filed an amicus brief supporting the plaintiff in Sharp v. Winterville in 2021. All right, now let's run through some updates. First up, what policymakers need to know about the First Amendment and Section 230? The Supreme Court just heard two cases, Twitter v. Tamna and Gonzalez v. Google, that would dramatically affect users' speech rights online. Last week, EFF hosted a Capitol Hill panel in Washington, D.C. to discuss what legislators need to know about these cases the history of Section 230, and the First Amendment's protections for online speech. Next up, CBP is expanding its surveillance tower program at the U.S.-Mexico border, and we're mapping it. To provide researchers with the tools to analyze the impact of U.S. border security policy, EFF has released a new map and data set of more than 290 surveillance towers installed by Customs and Border Protection along the border with Mexico. Next, Civil society organizations urge Ghana's parliament to reject repressive anti-LGBTQ plus bill. With Ghana's anti-LGBTQ plus bill set to undergo its second reading in the Ghanaian parliament, EFF and other civil society partners are calling on the government of Ghana to immediately reject this draconian bill. Next up, how we fought for and won access to records about predictive policing in General Escobedo, Mexico. What started as a simple public records request became a journey into the absurd depths of Mexican bureaucracy. But we emerged victorious and learned a lot about how a city experimented with a dangerous surveillance tool. And for our last update, EFF tells Supreme Court, trademark law doesn't trump First Amendment. A trademark dispute between Jack Daniels and a maker of novelty dog toys may not sound like an important First Amendment battleground, But a bad decision in the latest trademark case to come before the U.S. Supreme Court could eliminate an important protection for a wide range of political and artistic expression. And now we've got a few events. First up, Hack Summit. EFF supporters are invited to join Hack Summit, a virtual event hosted between March 31st and April 1st, where you can learn about blockchain coding concepts from speakers including Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin. Next up, EFF's 7th Annual Tech Trivia Night Join us in San Francisco on April 27th for EFF's 7th Annual Tech Trivia Night. Explore the obscure monotony of digital security, online rights, and internet culture. And up next, EFF at Black Hat USA. EFF is once again excited to be back in Las Vegas for Black Hat USA. If you're interested in submitting a talk to Black Hat, you can contact info at EFF.org about any legal concerns regarding your talk or any sensitive info security research you are conducting. And now we've got one job posting to go through. Director, Technology Policy and Projects. EFF is looking for a full-time director, technology policy and projects to lead part of the public interest technology team's work in privacy, competition, government surveillance, and cybersecurity along with development of our Privacy Badger software. Last up, let's go through a few mini-links. First, from Daily Costs, expect fireworks and posturing on both sides at House TikTok hearing. 
There are legitimate data privacy concerns about all social media platforms, including but not limited to TikTok. That's why EFF supports comprehensive consumer data privacy legislation. Next up from Coda Story, Texas lawmakers want to erase abortion from the internet. A Texas bill targeting websites, people, and companies that share abortion-related info online is systematically set up to silence and chill speech. Next, from Department of Homeland Security, Secret Service and ICE did not always adhere to statute and policies governing use of cell site simulators, redacted. Two Homeland Security agencies have been found conducting overly broad surveillance again, this time by using Stingray devices to collect cell phone data in violation of federal policies and laws. Next, from Washington Post, how to secure your Twitter account for free. Twitter's abrupt end to free two-factor authentication via SMS will leave more users with less security. This last mini-link is from IT Pro. The UN Cybercrime Treaty could be a privacy disaster. The vague and broad provisions contained in the UN Cybercrime Treaty will undoubtedly sweep up and criminalize legitimate expression, news reporting, protest speeches, and more. And that's it. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to sign up for the email version of Effector, which includes links to in-depth coverage of these stories and more. See past issues and subscribe at EFF.org slash Effector. Before we end this issue of the newsletter, I just want to let you know that EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization, and you can help us protect digital privacy, security, and free expression for everyone. Donate to EFF today and even grab a bit of gear, by heading over to EFF.org slash effect. That's EFF.org slash E-F-F-E-C-T. You can become a member for as little as $25 or even sign up as a monthly or annual donor. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.